Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorns, Moon, Sun, and Rising. I want to give a big shout out to Capricorns. Um, the way I've been uploading the videos uh, this month or the middle of the month is uh, those that get the most views or the most comments, those are the first uh, videos that are going to be coming up every month. So you guys definitely give, uh, you know, show support for your sign. Uh, Capricorns <laughs> I know you guys uh, you guys are very reserved you guys are very uh, loving people very you guys are amazing I mean I love my cappies I'm a Capricorn myself so anyways um, if you want to see your video come up next month uh, be one of the first ones to be uploaded definitely show some love support uh, by sharing liking or commenting on the videos if you haven't subscribed to my channel I definitely encourage you to subscribe to my channel uh, so then you can get the newest updates of the videos that are being uploaded. Okay, so let's get into your reading Capricorns. Also, if you're interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. So let's move forward. Let's see what Spirit has for you Capricorns for the mid-month of October 2017 regarding your love life. So I'm going to be pulling out cards for you Capricorn and then I will be pulling out cards uh, for the person that you are dating or the person that you're interested in. Okay, so let's get into it. Spirit, what are the messages for Capricorns for the mid-month of October 2017 regarding their love life? Spirit, what are the messages? So you have two cards that popped out already. I pull out two more cards and then I will proceed with your partner's cards. For Capricorns for the mid month of October 2000. All right. Oh, oh, Capricorn. All right. So your cards, you have the nine of pentacles, the four of pentacles, the temperance card, the eight of cups. Your partner's cards is the moon, the six of cups, the ace of swords, and the knight of swords. Let me pull out uh, the current situation. Spirit, please give me clarity with one card for the current situation regarding Capricorn's love life for the mid-month of October 2017. Okay. All right, Cappies, for the month of October, the current energy or the current situation is the two of wands. Partnerships is very important for you guys, Capricorns. Uh, this is for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. For those of you that have been uh, in a serious committed relationship, the two of wands nonetheless still speaks about partnerships, but it's um, having a mutual understanding and support for one another. Usually when the two of uh, wands comes out as a current situation, to me it speaks about uh, obviously partnerships, but for those of you guys that have been serious or have been in a committed or marriage, um, it can speak about um, miscommunication. And when the two comes out, the two of wands, it actually is speaking about uh, being able to reciprocate uh, the love and understanding of mutual understanding for one another. So again, for those of you Capricorns that have been married um, or in a serious committed relationship and you guys have been going up, uh, having ups and downs, uh, the two is definitely a positive omen in a reading, a love reading, because it's talking about the two actually coming together and being able to understand and support one another. Okay, so let's get into your cards, uh, Capricorns. So you have the nine of pentacles here and the nine of pentacles next to the four of pentacles so what this is being represented or what it, it means at the present time in regards to how you view your partner you are seeing the person that you're with obviously as someone that's very good with money and dealing with money so that's definitely a positive thing because we all know capricorns don't like to spend money uh and I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean it and you guys are very smart when it comes to wasting money or when it comes to putting your own money to work towards certain things. Um, you're definitely seeing this person as a, you know, a potential 
a long-term type of relationship for those of you guys that are currently just dating. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles definitely speaks about uh, singlehood. So again, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, the Nine of Pentacles is a representation of singlehood. But next to the Four of Pentacles, you have to work on bringing down your barriers, bringing down your walls. Um, it's like you're not allowing people to come near you. You're not allowing people to uh, get to know you on a deeper level. And there's a there's absolutely nothing wrong with that only when it becomes an obsession of yours to always be the one to have the upper hand then that becomes negative okay and the reason i say that is because what follows the four of pentacles is the temperance card so the temperance there's a major need for balance here capricorn um it's a give and take when it comes to relationships and getting to know someone you have to be willing and open uh, and vulnerable even uh, sometimes to be able to connect with people on a deeper level. I feel that for a lot of you Capricorns, you guys are going to be experiencing a lot of uh, uh, sexual connection, a lot of sexually charged type of energy for the month of October uh, going into uh, November. And the reason I say that is because uh, you know, Jupiter is in Scorpio. <laughs> so, uh, you know, Capricorn is the sign, obviously the devil card, um, you know, in, in Spanish, it represents Satan, you know, which is, you know, the devil. So again, you guys are very connected to that of your sexual energy, if not one of the most charged, um, signs in regards to sexuality, because, uh, you know, it is your, your innate, um, your innate energy which is all of that of the material so again there is a major need of you to be able to take uh, to take on the lessons that life has taught you but try the best you can you're like almost hitting borderline becoming resentful becoming just an an angry person um and i know that sounds harshly but i'm just keeping it 100 i know that out of all the signs you're one of the signs that is very good with you know taking constructive criticism and this is from a fellow capricorn so again uh there's absolutely nothing wrong with learning with you know taking on the lessons that have been taught to us but try the best you can to understand that on a deeper level so then you can balance your energy, okay? I do see a person coming towards you, Capricorns, for those of you guys that are single. And it may be a person from the past. It could be either a Cancer, it could be an air sign. An air sign would be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Um, or it could be a water sign as well, as I do see water here. Other than Cancer would be a Scorpio or a Pisces. But again, try the best you can. I feel that this person that's coming in as well is very well balanced. Um, and this is a person that can um, uh, kind of bring you out of your shell, okay? It could be a Sagittarius as well, as Temperance is a representation of Sag. So, again, these are your cards, Capricorn, for the month, uh, the middle of the month. So, again, I do see you guys pulling away and walking away from a relationship that no longer serves you. So, for those of you guys that have been dating uh, for quite a while or have been in a serious monogamous relationship, um, Perhaps that perhaps the nine of pentacles is you reflecting whether you should, uh, you know, take on the decision of walking away from this relationship and actually embrace your singlehood. Uh, the four of pentacles is definitely a representation of that. Of you're at a, you know, you you've had it. You're at, at this point. Your guard is up and you're not bringing it down. With the temperance card, there is a need for you to either step away from the relationship like giving each other space giving each other time to reflect to think about what you guys want or for some of you guys it, this is definitely walking away from the situation walking away from the relationship that no longer serves you now the cards that are being represented as your partner or your, the way your partner sees you uh the moon card is here and the six of cups with the ace of swords so the moon card is all about the hidden everything that is not what it seems like or they're not showing you so this is how they're perceiving you so they see you as perhaps being very mysterious okay so i'm getting multiple messages let me take this one at a time now for those of you guys that are currently single I definitely see a person from the past coming back into your life. Again, like I said, it could be a Sagittarius, it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or it could be an air sign, which would be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. And again, like I said, 
this is a person from your past. The reason I say that is because the Six of Swords is here. I mean, sorry, the Six of Cups is here. And the Six of Cups is definitely talking about uh, the past, uh, someone that you had a connection with in a previous uh, cycle in your life. And with the Moon card, this is very unexpected. This is going to be like out of the blue. It could be for some of you guys, a person that you've seen as just a friend that finally reaches out to you and is like, you know what? I care for you. I always have. And I'm like 100% in it if you want to give me a chance. Like that's how a back you're going to take it. Like what the hell? Where did this come from? Um, and the reason I say that is because the moon is hidden, but it can also speak about emotions that are hidden from you. And the six of cups here is the person coming back from the past, coming back into your present and giving you the cold hard truth. <laughs> uh you know they're they're like all in they're they're they don't care what they're jeopardizing at this point um and it it has solely to do with the fact that they perhaps uh kept it very quiet for quite a while now now they do have here um the knight of swords so the knight of swords is a message coming through that is very direct it's very to the point very cutthroat again like i said next to the ace of swords it's not a negative whatsoever it's just that they're taking on the energy of you know what i've waited long enough for some of you guys, it can work out the way that you've been friends with someone at a distance and you guys, you know, kind of fell apart or something or went on to be in different relationships. But then this time around, both of you guys are single around the same time. And again, uh, they're coming and they're reaching out to you and they're like, you know what? I never told you this, but this is how I feel about you, etc. And again, they're definitely wanting to move forward, wanting to get that opportunity for you to allow them that opportunity to move forward. Now, again, for those of you guys that are currently in a situation where you've been married or you guys are in a serious committed relationship, the moon is definitely talking about, again, hidden feelings, things that are not being, you know, um, out in the open. The Six of Cups, there's going to be a moment, in, I would say the first be the first week of November, uh, where your partner comes to you and actually speaks or tells you, you know what, we have to put the cards on the table and come to an agreement, whether it is, whether for some of you guys, it's uh, debating whether you want to continue the relationship or not. And the reason why you're holding on to this probably has to do with children. There's children involved. So again, uh, I feel that the first week of November, there's going to be a need of clarity uh, but also uh, having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And based off of that conversation, the Ace of Swords is here to tell you that it's going to be uh, very precise, very honest communication, uh, very could be cutthroat, but at the end of the day, it's going to be to the best of your interest, Capricorn, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I know it seemed all over the place. Comment, like, and share. Um, definitely let me know if it resonated with you. And again, like I said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I highly encourage you to do so. We will see each other in the beginning of November.